Today we have a racket review of the new Head Gravity MP XL extended length. It's an exclusive by Tennis Warehouse in the United States only, to my knowledge. So this is an extended length racket, and if we measure it up, we can see that it's a 27.5. It's a half inch longer than your standard 27 inch racket. So other than that, I see no material differences in the racket. It looks like that. If you can see here on the handle, you can see the handles extended a little bit higher than on the standard length. So the extra length is in the handle only. I've already done a review on how they extended the pallet in the handle. It's not with the butt cap. It's actually the pallet of the handle itself is a half inch longer. And for a little background, for those of you that have seen my videos, you know that I am already a head gravity user. I use the MPL that's customized. I've used the Pro extensively for about two years. I've used the MP for about a year, and now I'm on an MPL that's customized with weight in the handle and in the head. So I'm a big fan of the Head Gravity line. I think they're fantastic rackets, and it's been my racket of choice for about three years since the previous generation. I have it strung up with Kirschbaum Super Smash at 55 pounds in the mains and 56 in the crosses. So let's go out in the court, grip it and rip it, and see how this plays. After playing with this racket yesterday for about two hours, and again today for about an hour and a half, here are my general takeaways. Let's first review the specs. Um, Tennis Warehouse has the static weight advertised at 323. I recorded this, the specs will be right here. I have it at 324, so pretty much on spec. Uh, headlight balance of eight, according to Tennis Warehouse, I have a six and a half points headlight. And swing weight was advertised at 333, and I have it at 330 or 331. So pretty close to on spec from what Tennis Warehouse advertised. Let's first talk about strokes. On the forehand, I didn't see any benefits. Clearly this racket with the extended length gives you a little bit of extra power. Nothing dramatic, but it does have a little extra power. But it does come with a cost. The cost is a little less control. I found it to be a little bit harder to wield on the forehand. Uh, at a 330 swing weight, it's not considered extremely heavy, but it's certainly not light. Um, it's a little less wieldy than the standard length rackets on the 27 inch rackets. So on the forehand, I felt it didn't have a tremendous benefit to it. Um, the backhand, it does. When you have a two-handed backhand particularly, uh, the extra heft and the extra length has that little bit of extra power without sacrificing any control. On volleys and slices, I really felt that's where you give up the most, where there's a lot of detriment, that extra half inch really isn't needed. Uh, you need to choke up on the racket a little bit if you want that little bit of extra control. So I didn't find any benefit on the slice. I felt actually that it's just a negative consequence on the slice. I feel it doesn't have any benefits on the volley. On a serving racket overall, the whole gravity line feels like a pretty average serving racket. The extended length does help on the serve like any other extended length racket. So I think the question becomes, who is this racket for? And should they make it? Um, I think the market is actually really small for this racket. Like I said, I'm a big believer in some extended rackets. I like having the option, but for head to have an extra skew to make this racket a half inch longer, I don't think the market's very big for this racket at all. I think if you're a 5'8 and you're shorter stature, and you're looking for more power and that extra half inch overall is probably a benefit for you. For certain, unless you're at least a 4.0 or up, I don't think you're gonna enjoy this racket. I think you have to be at least a 4.0 because the racket is not typical of like a lot of other extended rackets that are sort of towards the more intermediate novice end of the spectrum. This racket at 333 or 330 on swing weight is not a light racket. It's not super easy to maneuver around. It's enjoyable, but it needs to be in the hands of someone at least a 4.0, probably a 4.5. And at that range, you typically don't need a lot of extra power unless you're a counter puncher. So if you're a short statured counter puncher, you may find a lot of benefit in this 27 and a half inch racket. But from my, from my perspective, that's a really small market. As much as I love the gravity line, I wouldn't switch from the MP line or the MPL line to move up to the MPL. Uh, the MPXL. 
um, just because I don't think there's enough benefits and I think you actually lose a little bit more than you gain. What I find strange that Head did here is this is one skew, one extra skew. So who did they make it for? I really don't know. I just don't think the market's that big. What I would have liked to have seen them do instead, which I think would be much smarter for the manufacturers, is it is nice to be able to customize your racket and move it up a quarter inch or a half inch. What I think would probably be a much better way to approach this is if Head offered a quarter inch or half inch extended butt caps and allow you to customize any head racket that you want and still retain the head official head butt cap so that you could take your speed or your gravity or your prestige or your boom or your extreme or any other head racket and extend it by a quarter inch or a half inch and they could charge probably 20 or 30 dollars just for a butt cap and make a lot of profit without having to introduce more skews so in my mind this racket doesn't have a great appeal again it's a great racket because it's a gravity it's a gravity line racket which plays great so if you're a gravity lover and you feel you need the extra half inch of length on the racket and you want that little bit of extra power maybe it's for you but for most gravity users out there uh, particularly on the lower levels this racket i think will certainly not fit most novice and intermediate level players and it has to be the more advanced level player so i i really don't know where it fits into the market um, it's a fairly fun racket to play with but it's a novelty in my opinion. This is not a racket you would actually want to play with on a regular basis with the exception of a small percentage of players, like I said, that are looking for that extra power and really prefer extended length rackets. But if you're already happy with your 27 inch standard length gravity rackets, there's no reason to upgrade to the Gravity MP XL in my opinion. I think they missed the mark on this racket. I think if anything, they could have extended the team or maybe the MPL. Uh, and had a lighter version of an extended racket that would suit more players overall. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next ace.